What's going on guys, it's Care, and today we're guys a video on how to create your own basic video border, and as you see in the bottom left hand corner right here, right, like on the actual screen I made, this is pretty much what we're going to be making, and uh, it's really basic and it's really clean. If you guys want me to do a more in-depth tutorial on this, uh, please let me know, but honestly I'm going to start off small and then I'll work my way up to something bigger. So uh, pretty much for this, all you're going to need is a social media pack, which I actually have on my cell phone, so I'll leave a link in the description for that, just go out and check it out and download. But um. So all you're going to need and uh, everything else is pretty much made by myself or layer styles. And if you guys want layer styles, I have a layer style pack as well. I'll leave in the description. So uh, to start this off, pretty much all it is is a rectangle cut and then like three extra things. And it's really easy to do, really basic, and it's actually very easy to change the color, which I'll go on more about. So uh, to start this off, I'm just going to delete everything and go back to my plain background. So uh, for this background, all I did was find a Black Ops 3 gameplay video, and pretty much I took it, made it black and white, lowered the opacity, and put a blur. And uh, for the canvas size, you're going to want to make it 1280 by 720 and uh, that's about it. So uh, the first thing you want to do when you start off with this is just make a new layer, and you want to either start off making it in the middle or the side. And since this is a game, I'm actually going to make it on the side. So uh, what I did to start this off is I just pretty much clicked and just held shift and dragged out, and then I hit like I clicked and then I brought down sideways on a diagonal form and then just brought in words and then I just made it black so I just right clicked fill and put the color to black and then I just threw it at the bottom so uh, pretty much you guys can either choose where you want to put it like some people would want to put it let me just flip 180 would want to put it like right here and uh, it's pretty much all your preference where you want to put it it works anywhere you want to do so I'm going to do it at the bottom left hand corner because it's the easiest probably for you guys to see and work with. So uh, to start this off, what you're going to do is make a new layer and then put that below your black line. And just label this bar, like black bar, because it's easier to navigate when you have this. And just make this uh, red, or just make a colored line. So for the colored line, all you want to do is zoom in and then take your polygon tool and just pretty much click right, let's just say here, bring upwards like this, and just hold shift drag across and then fill it in with any color so I mean any color because we're gonna change colors we're gonna throw a hue and saturation on because it's gonna be able to change your colors and it makes it more uh, customizable so you wanna just take it and make it a little smaller make sure the top part isn't too heavy and then take a eraser on like a size so like 80 and kind of erase the hard edge and then blend it out this way so now when you zoom out it's like a little uh little fade and then you can take your opacity and just lower it to about uh 60 yeah 60 70 whatever you guys want to do so uh, pretty much now that you have that the next thing you want to do is make another new layer under that and just label this red sh actually colored shadow i keep thinking red that's what i'm using just label it colored shadow and then take your brush make it any color you want that you're using to match make sure it's matching the, this color too and just kind of highlight like this all right, and then take the opacity and lower it, and then just take your eraser and kind of erase inwards because if you're going to leave it too high, it kind of looks weird. So let's put it like this. All right, and then delete the bottom if it excels over it. So now that you have that, that's pretty much the basic easy parts. Now we're just going to add a, uh, not a filter, but a uh, another bar right here. So what you can do is just take your polygon tool make a new pretty much a new layer and then click in the middle drag a little bit out and then all the way down and then fill this in with like a white all right and then you can add any layer style on it that's uh silver so if you want if you if i said you guys need layer styles i have a pack out which i'll leave a link in the description for and then just make sure that everything is good all right now that you have that what you want to do is just pretty much duplicate that and just drag out a little more to the side and then drop down so it pops out and then put it below and then just add any colored layer style on that and then just zoom out and you guys can see that it has a cool little effect and stuff but uh when you're doing this i want to make sure that uh my silver or my gray or whatever color you're doing and then the red are the same kind of size inward so let me just zoom in a little bit. So there you go. So they're like that. And uh, pretty much the reason for that is just it's just something that's different to make it uh, pop out more and more noticeable. 
So uh, now that you have that, you're going to work on the inside. So for the inside, I'm going to just merge these two and label them um, colored colored uh, side. And uh, pretty much now you want to work with text and stuff. So what I'm going to do is make a new layer and put it onto the uh, black bar and label this white. And this is going to be a white shadow. So uh, pretty much you want to go to your like, color tool and make it white. And then take a brush size and like a size 100 and like 20. And just kind of click right here and then in the corner and then up above and then lower the opacity. This is just the basic out like popping. So uh, there's like a little color overlay. Hold up. Sorry about that. Someone had to come in my room and ask me a question. So uh, what I want to do is just right click on the black bar and go to blending options and then go to your inner glow. And uh, pretty much make the inner glow. Uh... Sorry, now I'm just hearing things. I think like something's in my room. I keep like freaking out. But what I'm going to do now is just take your opacity and just lower it down to about 6 and make sure the size is on 2 and uh, put it on normal. And you guys can mess with the size actually, but I like keeping it around 2 and the opacity around like, like a low 10s. And then hit OK, just so it leaves like an extra uh, pop in. So what uh, now you want to do is add your logo, and you want to take your logo, and then just drag it into your uh, your thing, and then make it smaller, just like this, just too small. Which I hit Control T by the way for those transform tools, and just kind of make it, and then center it, and then throw it to the side, and then you can make it literally any color you want. Just make it, put it above your thing, so it's not on like the There you go. And then you can pretty much do any color you want. What I'm going to do is make this uh, the silver overlay. Just like that. And label this my logo. Alright, and then you have your logo or whatever logo you want to do. And now you want to work with your text. So don't put your logo too far to the side. Make it like right here. Make a little indent. And then... Uh, start with text so the first thing you want to do is go to the social media pack that you guys have or what you're using and then just drag in whatever social links you want to use I'm using two of them because I think two looks a little too like a little clean on this so uh now that I have that I'm gonna delete the inside of this so uh, I can change the color of it so I just delete the inside and then I'm gonna make it a little smaller and then just drag it let's just say right here all right, and then I'll move it so it's like that. And then I want to take uh, another social link. So I'm going to take, let's just say Twitter, drag it in, put the bottom so it's lined up, and then just drag it down like that. It's a little too big. There you go. And then add a uh, layer, colored layer style onto it. And make sure everything's matching. So you see how everything's like red. So you have that. So what now you want to do is add your text. So I'm just move my Twitter out of the way over here, and then go to my text tool. And for text tool, I'm using uh, the font Bank Gothic. So what you want to do is type in just say YouTube, and uh, make sure it's all it's in all capitals, and then make it the same level, and then type in let's just say slash Bear Design. All right, and then make it like that, so it kind of touches each other. Not touches, but it's, it's like almost there. Zoom in a little bit. Like that. And then you can just uh, center it. And then you can make your YouTube logo a tad smaller. Alright, and then what you want to do is take the layer style, a silver one, and make the YouTube font the silver one. And make the bear design one the red one. So if you zoom out, it's like that. So uh, this is when you can actually change the color of your thing and change the size so what I'm gonna do is highlight my YouTube and then bear design and make it a little smaller just so I have room to add Twitter so like that and I'm gonna take my Twitter logo and resize it so it matches again and then just move it to the side and what I'm gonna do is just duplicate both the text like this right click duplicate and just drag over to the side and then I'm gonna have to change everything so I go to make this Twitter, put this to the side, oops, and then make that the same thing, mine is bare design, so I'm not going to have to change it, alright, so uh, now that we have progress going, what we're going to do is just make these a uh, little better, just like that, and then we can zoom out and look at it, so uh, pretty much if you want to do more social links, you have to add, make, make more space or change the size of the font and stuff, 
But um, more extra touch-ups we're going to do is just make a, another, like click the black bar and then make a new layer so it puts it as a child of that as well. And uh, just pretty much put a br brush right there, brush right there, and then lower the opacity to like 10, 5 actually. And then make another new layer and then take a size brush on like 60 and if kind of click right here under these and lower the opacity a little bit just so it's like a little light showing upwards. So if we zoom out, that's like a little light. So uh, that's pretty much the video overlay. And now I'm going to show you guys how to change the colors very easily without having to like, save it and like redo it. So a cool tip that you guys can do, since everything is one color, if you go to the top, let me just make these smaller. If you go to the top and then click right here in the half colored circle and go to hue and saturation, it will make a hue and saturation. I'm going to enable this color changer. One sec. See, that time I knew someone was coming to my room. But I'm going to label this color changer. And this is pretty much to change the color because the name's color changer. And uh, to do this, what you do is double click the uh, the half circle. And then you can pretty much just take this and adjust it. And you see how it just changes color that easily. So, all right, I swear to God, that was the last time I'm going to have to pause this video. But uh, pretty much what this little arrow thing does is uh, pretty much changes the color. Like a full color chroma changer. And uh, pretty much just change it to whatever color you like. And... Uh, change the saturation but uh i'd leave that where it is and uh now i can just change it uh put it back to red actually i'm gonna put it to a blue so i'm gonna put this to blue and uh say you want it to be blue this video so you can just change it to blue and then uh to pretty much save it what you want to do is go to your bottom and then delete your overlay or your background picture and then delete the uh banner so it's just a uh pretty much a solid checkered background and then go to file, save as, and then go to your desktop or whatever folder you want to do it, and save it as a PNG. So uh, pretty much this is all I'm going to be showing you guys today is making this little overlay. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want to download this, I'm going to be releasing this at 50 likes. And all my videos have been doing like, super well lately. I'm going to go on my banner thing. Not my banner, but my video manager. And uh, my videos have been doing crazily good, like 500 views, 61 likes. And I got I got all these dislikes in one day and one hour, which I kind of am a little suspicious about because each one was four, so I got like another extra one, but it was weird. But um, 60 likes on all my videos, and you guys are pretty much doing an awesome job at watching them. So if you guys like this uploading almost on daily, and I'm trying my best to get you guys videos, uh, let me know in the comments and make sure to like this video. But for 50 likes, I'm releasing this for uh, the public, and uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. At the end of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little something. Actually, not want to show you guys something, but uh, next time I make a video, I'm going to have a, uh, maybe a reaction my brother. So my brother came home from college for help me work this weekend at this auction. And uh, I pretty much he was working, and I was home with my mom. And I uh, went to the dollar store, and I bought like four packs of balloons. And I just filled every balloon up with air. Like I was like dying of heck air. And uh, I put them all in his car. And then I have his reaction of him doing it, and I have like, videos of me doing it. But um, if you guys want to watch a reaction video on that, just please let me know. If you guys want more videos like that, let me know in the comments. But uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And definitely subscribe to the Tutorial Hub. We are launching very soon. We're working on the final touches of the channel and then getting stuff together. But um, 50 likes for this. Like this video, comment, and uh, let me know if you guys want anything special. Other than that, I'm out. Peace.